welcome to how to do or how to conduct series this time we are going to see how to do principal component analysis the steps there are four steps of doing principal component analysis first you get the covariance or correlation matrix from the data then get the eigen value third step is getting the eigen factor eigen factors are nothing but the directions of principal component and fourth component is nothing but getting the coordinates of each data point in the direction of principal components let's see those steps in more detail the first step is to get the covariance matrix or correlation matrix of the independent variables this is called characteristic matrix let's call it matrix a now where we should go for covariance matrix where we should go for correlation matrix if the data if all the variables are measured on the same scale then it's better to take covariance matrix but if the variables are measured on different scale then we should take the correlation matrix or we first standardize all the variables and then take the covariance matrix which is nothing but the correlation matrix why because if you do not standardize those variables which has huge numeric values will have huge standard deviation and ultimately it will affect the whole analysis because all the components will just go in explaining that if a variable is being measured in meter and if this another variable is being measured let's say in millimeter and if we just take the numeric values the millimeter values will have much more standard deviation in numeric terms so the whole analysis will go towards the variable which is having huge numeric variable numeric values how do you do it the first step is to solve the determinant a minus lambda i equal to 0 to get values of lambda what is a that's the this is the characteristic matrix that we have explained in the first step from where it comes it comes that for a given matrix characteristic matrix if you take that matrix and minus a identity matrix multiplied by lambda the determinant should become zero if the determinant is zero only then there is just a possibility of getting the eigen values what are eigen values eigen values are nothing but the values of lambda it's just an example in case of three independent variable it is nothing but solving the matrix that you are seeing in the right side it's like variances are, are the diagonal uh, components and the covariances are written when you solve this mat this determinant in case of three variable you are expected to get three values in case of n independent variable you are expected to get n values of lambda these lambdas are eigen values the biggest one is called the first eigen value the second biggest one is called the second eigen value and so on what do you do once you get the eigen value the get the first eigen vector take the biggest eigen value and put in the matrix a minus lambda i so essentially what does it mean that wherever the variance term there you will minus the lambda value which is the biggest eigen value after that you will solve a matrix which is a minus lambda i star x equal to 0 which is the definition of eigen vector when you solve you will get the values of x matrix so essentially the components of x and that will decide the eigen vector once you get the value for x matrix or the values of the data points of x for which the above equation is true it is called first eigen vector then how do you get the second eigen vector how do you get the third eigen vector very simple next time in a minus lambda i matrix you put the second eigen value and you solve the equation again the value that you get this time is the second eigen vector third time you put the third eigen value and you solve the equation what you get is third eigen vector and so on 
Now get the coordinates of each data point in the direction of principal component using equation for any data point for any data point h a i 1 y 1 a i 2 y 2 all those things where a i are the fact coefficient of factor i multiply the measured value of j variable j you know these things whatever we are writing in equation sometimes is not very clear so it's better to see an excel or workout where we have solved a two dimension example where you will understand how we are getting the components how we are solving for the lambda how we are getting the eigen vectors all those things and also a lot of concepts you know the very purpose that you know the whole uh, variance is getting distributed will be explained in the excel workout the excel workout is again available in the same channel